Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in my filming room slash rabbit room slash frog tank room. I don't know what you want to call it, but we're in here. So today I'm going to be giving you all an update on Bert and his brand new enclosure that I set up using the new Frogs & Co terrarium products. Earlier this year I partnered with Exoterra to do some videos on their new Frogs & Co product line. So for example, a few of the products that I used that came out with this product line were the new Frogs & Co terrarium, the Terra Skylight, and the Substratum Substrate. Now I do want to point out that while I did work with Exoterra for this project back in June, this video today is not sponsored at all. I just wanted to come on here and give you an update on the enclosure and on Bert who is um hanging out in that corner right there. So Bert here is my Vietnamese mossy frog who I got about one year ago now. I don't remember exactly when I got him, but it was sometime in summer of 2020. So last year when I got Bert, he was about two or three years old at the time from what I was told. I didn't buy Bert from a breeder or a pester or anything. He actually came from someone who was rehoming them. Some of you may remember that I did actually used to have two mossy frogs. So when I got Bert, I actually got two frogs. The girl who was rehoming them had two of them and I ended up getting both of them. Unfortunately, only a few months into owning them, one of them ended up passing away. But thankfully, one year later, Bert is doing really well. If you take a look at Bert's nose, you'll notice that it's a little bit white on the tip. Now this is because Bert actually dealt with a bit of an infection on his nose a few months ago. If you watched my previous video, videos on Bert and this Exoterra enclosure, you will probably remember me talking about how Bert was dealing with a bit of infection, so I took him to the vet, he was on some medication, and because of everything that was going on with Bert, he was a little bit delayed going into this enclosure. But thankfully, after getting a full round of treatment, he is doing so much better. The only reason why the skin on his nose is still white at the very front there is because amphibians and reptiles both can take a very, very, very very long time to heal. Their bodies work very different than ours do, so healing can take a lot longer for them, but I'm not worried at all about Bert at this point because it has steadily been healing and it's getting very close to being fully healed, so I think that he is going to do just fine. So as you can probably tell by looking at the setup that I have for Bert, Vietnamese mossy frogs are a semi-aquatic species of frog. So with the way that Bert's enclosure is currently set up, the front of it here is all just a water section. But then the back of the enclosure, which is, you know, behind all these plants and branches, is a land area of the enclosure. And then on top of that, he also has tons of plants and branches and his background that he can climb onto. So recently, I have actually been debating about getting rid of the land portion of Bert's enclosure altogether and just having a big water section. So like I said earlier, these guys are semi-aquatic and I find that Bert spends the majority of time either in his water or he's out crawling around on the branches. I have never once actually just seen him on the land portion of his enclosure. So because of this, I've been thinking that he may honestly just way prefer his enclosure if it had a way larger water section for him. And then to make up for the lost land, I'll probably just add some more cork pieces, some rocks and stuff like that. So I'll obviously be making sure that he does still have plenty of access outside of the water, but this way he can have just a much bigger water area to enjoy, which I think will be really, really beneficial to him. So now that we've talked about Bert for a little bit, let's move on and talk about the enclosure here. So this enclosure here is the new Exoterra Tree Frog Terrarium. So this enclosure measures 18 inches wide, 18 inches deep, and 24 inches tall. So I honestly just have to say that I am a big fan of this enclosure. I I have really, really been enjoying it so far and it has been working so well for Bert and just the paludarium setup that I have. So far, I really have no complaints about the tank at all. I have not had a single issue with it. It has worked perfectly for me and so far I'm a big fan of just the overall design and functionality of this enclosure. 
So before I had this tank, I never cared too much about having double doors versus a single door. But now that I've had this one set up for a while, I can really appreciate having this single pane of glass here to just really give me a better viewing panel into the enclosure. You know, there's no crack here that's just interrupting the view like there would be in the standard Exoterra models. I didn't think I would care about it, but I have really grown to like it. So far, I've also been a big fan of the new lid design. So on these new enclosures, only half of the lid is mesh. The front half of the lid here is a mixture of plastic and glass, and then the back half of it is mesh. So because of this, it ends up holding in way more humidity than a top that is solid mesh would, and that has been keeping Bert and the plants in this enclosure really happy. I honestly don't even have to miss this tank nearly as much as I thought I would. I thought that I would have to have my misters going off every single day, but because of how much water is in here and because of how well it holds the humidity in, I normally only have to miss this enclosure like twice a week. And so far this enclosure has been working really well for a paludarium setup and I am truly obsessed with the drain that is in the bottom of it. It makes cleaning out the water so easy and so convenient. I am a firm believer that like literally every fish tank and reptile tank needs a drain in it now because it is just so convenient. So overall, Bert has been doing really well and I have really been enjoying this new enclosure. However, I do have one complaint and that would be with the light. So the light that I'm using on this enclosure is the Exoterra Terra Sky Light. And now I will say that this light is definitely working. You know, my plants are healthy. They are growing, but they are just not growing as much as I hoped they would or as fast as I thought they would. This enclosure here is planted very, very simple. I have this dracaena there and then I have a few pothos cuttings in here. And like I said, all of the plants are doing really well. They're nice and healthy and they are growing, but the growth has just been really slow. Especially for plants like pothos, I would have expected to see more growth by now, but like I've said, just been going really slow. So I don't think that this light is terrible by any means, because like I said, my plants are nice and healthy. I think that it definitely could be a little bit more powerful and I think that the plants would probably benefit if it was. And there you have it. There is an update on Bert and Bert's enclosure. So with all of that said and done, I am just going to go ahead and end the video here. I do really hope that you guys enjoyed getting to see Bert, get an update on him, learn a little bit about mossy frogs, and get an update on how this enclosure is coming along. Like I said, for the most part, everything is going really well, and I am really, really enjoying this setup. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm getting so close to hitting my goal of 100,000 subscribers, so it would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and subscribe and help me hit that. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything will be in the description down below, but it is all just MSM99, so be sure to check that out. And with all that said and done, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next video.